It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this tutorial, we're going to continue our journey following the Unity Learn tutorial, VR Beginner, The Escape Room. In the previous video, we actually went through getting started with VR Beginner, The Escape Room. We noticed in the video that some of the things listed here are not up to date, but following my video will help you get through it. Now, in this video, we're going to go through review your VR controller. It should take about 10 minutes. It may take longer depending on any issues that we may come up with. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Number one, the overview. VR controllers are often slightly different. In this tutorial, you review the interaction options you own the options on your own controller. When you've finished, you'll be ready to start exploring and creating using the VR Beginner Unity project. Go ahead and press mark complete. Before you begin, in this tutorial, you'll identify input on your own controller and review controls for the VR experience included in the VR Beginner Unity project. It will help to have your controller in front of you. So let's continue. Review your controller. Before you begin reviewing controls, identify the following parts of your controller. Thumbstick or trackpad, which you use to give directional input. Grip button on the side of your controller, trigger button, top back of your controller. Let's look at my Oculus Go, my Oculus Quest, and my Oculus 5. To find these things on all three controllers for the three devices that I own. As you can see, it says have your VR controller ready. So you can see I have a my Oculus Go headset with me. And this is the Oculus controller. You can see right here, this is the touchpad. This is the trigger. You can also see I have a button here to go back. And this is the Oculus home button. So again, this is the Oculus Go controller. I also have an Oculus Quest. And you can see I've added a power pack on the back that balances it out. But this is an Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest comes with two controllers. And you can see the left and the right. And just looking at the controller, this is my trigger. I also have a thumb pad right here. If we look at the front of it, it's kind of hard to see. But this is my directional pad. This is my Y. This is my B. And then this is my menu button. And I also have an Oculus Rift. So this is the Oculus Rift. You can see it has a cord which connects it to my computer. This is the original Oculus Rift. So not the Rift S, but these are the controllers. It also comes with two controllers. You can see the difference. This is a Rift controller. This is a Quest controller. Look at the circles. So my hand is underneath here, where my hand, you can see that here a little bit better. So look at the differences where the circles are. On the right, this is the Quest. The circle is above. On here, on my left hand, this is the Rift controller. So let's look at the Rift controller. So again, you can see it's a little bit different. This is at the bottom, kind of cuffing your hand. The trigger is right there. The thumb is right here. You have your directional pad, you have your two buttons, and then you also have your menu button. Now that we've reviewed the Oculus Go, the Oculus Quest, and the Oculus Rift controllers, let's press Mark Complete. Moving around. First, let's, re let's review the control for basic movement. Move your hands. Hold the controllers and move them to move your hands. So I'm going to use my Oculus Quest so these are my controllers. I have them in my hand. And as I move my hands in VR, you will see some hands that will be moving following the motion of these controllers. Teleport to a new location. To teleport to a new location, move the directional input forward to activate the teleporter beam. Target a predetermined teleport spot. Release the directional input to move to a new location. You can see here is a video. Rotate the camera, move the directional input left or right to rotate the camera. Here is the video that they have us showing another controller that you may have. You can see that's how you teleport. Let's go ahead and press Mark Complete. Interacting with the objects. Next, let's review how to interact with objects in the VR beginner experience. Pick up an object. 
Press and hold the grip button to pick up or interact with an object. Let me show you this on my Oculus Quest. So again, here are my Oculus Quest controllers and you can see right where my middle finger is, there is a little button here. So to interact with objects, I'm going to press this button to pick it up inside of the VR experience. So this is your little grip button right here, right, right here. Press and hold the grip button to pick up and interact with objects. Interact with an object. Press the trigger to interact with an object you are holding. So I'm going to press this just to play the video that they're showing you. See, that is the grip button. Interact with an object. Press the trigger to interact with the, the object you're holding. So you can see on this controller, this is a trigger. Let me show you on my Oculus Quest where the trigger is again. So this is my Oculus Quest, and where my pointer finger is, these are the triggers. So you can see right here, kind of close up, this is the trigger. This is my trigger. Move a distant object closer. To move a distant object closer, hold your palm out facing forward in the VR to target an object. Move the directional input back to pull the targeted object towards your hand. So in our VR experience, this is what you're going to do gonna just go like this so again let's see how that looks on my quest on my quest I would simply go back back like this turn it down press and hold the grip button to rotate the controller to turn it down press a button apply gentle pressure to your hand in the controller to press a button and move a lever press and hold the grip button and pull the controller in the real world to move a letter, a lever. Let me show you what that's going to look like on our Quest controllers. So on my Quest controller, if I wanted to turn something, I'm going to hold, this is my grip button right here where my middle finger is. I'm going to grab that and then I'm just going to move it. If I have a lever, I'm going to also hold the grip button. I'm gripping that lever. I'm going to pull or push the lever to interact in this VR experience. If I wanted to press a button in the VR experience, your hands are gonna be like, in VR, your hands are gonna look like this. So even though I'm gonna have this, I'm not pressing anything, but if you do not press anything, your hand looks like this. So just imagine, you can see right now, I'm not pressing this or this. My hands like this, in VR, it's going to look like this. If I hold this grip button, that's like doing this. So you can see my hand with the controller looks like it's pointing, like it's pointing like a finger. And my left hand is the exact same thing. So when I let go of this, your hand will be flat. So it's like this. If I wanted to press something, I'm simply going to push forward with a little bit of presser like this which my hand is means it's close. If I wanted to make a fist, I would hold this. If you look at my hand, it looks like I'm holding, like I have a fist. But if I wanted to point with my finger, I would let this go, which my finger is straight and simply push forward to actually press a button. Let's mark this step as complete. Summary. In this tutorial, you have reviewed the controls for moving and interacting in a VR beginner experience. Next, you will use these to move and interact in the prototype room. Go ahead and press mark complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. Keep going in the VR beginner, the escape room project. In the next video, we will explore the prototyping room.